<laughs> let's let's read through. Yeah, so things that I wrote down. The dub voice acting and the script and the subs, they were all terrible. Dante and Lady swearing sounds like Gohan calling people a retard. I mentioned that before. It just sounds fucking ridiculous. And then, like, especially when the whole thing seems to be with... Uh, I'm going to do V now. The whole thing seems to be, hey, guys... These guys can be cool without smoking and drinking and swearing. Then the anime just throws that in the trash and goes, look, he's drinking. Look, he's swearing. Look, he's an asshole. And it's like, I don't want Dante to be an asshole. I don't want Trish and Lady to be an asshole. I want them to just be like fairly cool, detached people. And there's a difference between being detached and being like, just an uncaring asshole, you know? It's like, there's a big difference, and they completely misread the tone. Enemy steep. Need that steep. And I can get the other one, so, you know. We cannot get the EX provocation. But look, we've basically maxed out, aside from that, le vie. C'est la vie. Yep, yeah, no Virgil, no Devil Trigger, no combat sequence apart from one frame of Dante walking into a room and a load of, like, slash effects. It's not very exciting. Um, the only weapons pictured in the entire game are the weapons they're known for. So, if you're like, oh look, we'll see loads of cool weapons being in the anime, you get Rebellion, you get Ebony and Ivory, you get Trish's weapon. I think you get a weapon. No, Trish is just using Ebony and Ivory too. Um, <clears throat> and Lady is just using her usual gun, the uh, Kalina Anne. And they're not shown using really much else, unless it's like, oh look, there was a thing on the floor, I threw it at you, the thing. Like, you know, it's, it's not really like, you know, you're not seeing any cool shit. Uh, I'm conferring my notes. Trish shows up twice, and on the last time she shows up, oh, I forgot what I was doing. Uh, the last time she shows up, she shows up to go, gee, I'm really no help at all about against this Saturday morning cartoon villain of a final boss. It's really like that. And you're like, oh, oh, it's just some demon. It's just some demon. He's about the same level as, like, the first boss of this game. But he's not even that cool. He's just some dude. He's got a cool design. But he's just like, haha, I will take over this world. And, like, there's this big thing about Dante losing to him and being put on a cross and, like, oh, no, Dante can't lose. And it's literally the end sequences. The tears of the anime child will save Dante. Someone cared for Dante. It wasn't Morrison. It wasn't anybody you would actually think like his fucking girlfriend. <laughs> or like his other side girlfriend who's not is just his friend. It's not those people. You know who it is? It's the anime lolly. Who has been screeching and demanding shit off of him this whole time. So apparently everyone... Gold digging underage girls care for us more than our adult fucking girlfriends who just come in and out of our lives. Great. And she's invented for the anime! Oh, I hate her so much. It's not just the voice, it's just like, it's such a trope that, like, animes always feel the need to have, which is just frustrating. No one will watch our anime unless there isn't an underage screechy girl ruining the tone and creating brevity. If it's too dark and like, you know, and there's not a happy girl going hee 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 every five seconds, everyone will lose all hope and commit suicide. And you're like, it's Devil May Fucking Cry! And <laughs> like, you know, what is this in here for? And now they've made her canon, and I'm like, 
I'm glad she's just like a annoying side character that Dante's like, fuck this character. <laughs> the whole cutscene she gets in DMC5 is just, ugh, fuck off. And they also made Morrison good. Because Morrison is the jet black adjacent in um, this. He's literally there to say to like to like Dante Spikes Beagle. Dante is sitting on the floor going, Ugh, I don't have any money, just like Spike Spiegel does in Cowboy Bebop. And Jet Black's like, Well maybe if you did some like work and actually got paid for once and it's literally a carbon copy of like the same vibe Spike Spiegel and Jet Black have in the first couple of episodes too. And you're just like, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> like it's been done. A lot! <laughs> like, please stop! I don't know if I had devil trick with her. I just wanted to do shit. It's just like, it's been done. It's been done, please stop. Oh my god, no. And like I said, everyone looks like the first season of Archer or the entire seasons of Initial D, where they don't have... Their bodies do not take up space underneath their clothes. They are all wireframe that clothes hang on. Dante doesn't have shoulder depth. Trish doesn't have curves. Sure, she doesn't have to have curves to be interesting or attractive, but she sure as shit could also have used, like, an ounce of personality as well, and she lost that too. They also, like, make a big deal of them driving off into the sunset together. Trish... Um, Lady and Dante, and they're like, we're gonna go over here to this strangely Fortuna-looking city. But we can't tell you it's called Fortuna yet, because this anime is years ahead of Devil May Cry 4 coming out. <laughs> Just like, obviously no Nero, or V, because if there's no Virgil, there's not gonna be V. And V was invented for this game, I'm pretty sure. Or, you know, something along those lines. Kill that guy. Don't just watch me kill this guy. Kill the kill the goat. Get the goat. You can go away now. You don't have to keep swinging at me. Like, doing his Zongief shit in the corner. <clears throat> Yeah, like, um, nah, I was just really disappointed. I'll just read some other stuff in a minute. That, like, I, like I said, I wrote pages on why I'm mad. And you might notice I'm just pulling out Nightmare for everything. Because you, you gain D-Trig real quick with this guy. And it just, like... Oh no, I might actually have to read a book and actually do the uh, combat now. Oh no, against these vines. There we go. I got two chunks. I already had one chunk, but I have two chunks. Oh man, I could just... This is turning into let's critique an anime that everyone kind of was like, yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, we get it. Great demon designs, actually. I really like the designs. The, the physical designs and aspect of a lot of it was actually really interesting. And I have to give it that. Their style and or profile. By which I mean, I will make Shadow do the skewer, and then I will win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was just a big disappointment. If they made it now, I would, I would legit just watch an anime where they're like, Here's Nero and Nico doing standard jobs. Here's, like, Morrison hanging out occasionally. Here's Lady. Here's, like, V. 
you know, if it's done well and it's showing them do stuff and it's got an ounce of personality and humor to it, like the whole thing about people saying, oh yeah, you can really tell Dante has depression uh, from that anime is literally just like, I think personally just from their, like they don't really know what to do with him, but it does make sense to the character having depression. And then they kind of, there's elements to this game's plot that also suggest that. And then you go, oh, okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, not pretty cool for Dante, obviously, but like it shows a development arc for the character, which is always great, especially as they're aging over time. It shows that like life is changing for them. And it's like, considering what has happened to Dante over his life, where he's had to kill his brother like twice, and then had to stop his, like, nephew from killing his father, which is his brother, once. And also seen his entire family perish. You know, it just kind of suggests a lot of stuff. Uh, like, you know. done when he wasn't. Uh, yeah, it just really suggests, oh no, I, I, <clears throat> you know, I would watch a whole anime which was just V, or like, who the fuck slept with Virgil? They could, they need to make a How I Met Your Mother, where it's, <laughs> where Virgil sits Nero down on the couch. And he has a few seasons to explain how he <laughs> met Nero's mummy and how that happened. Because I think we're all asking this question. Who the fuck looked at this wee-bass motherfucker who's like, I need more power. And just thought, yeah, that's the guy I want to father my child. Just, just, I want to know. I need to know. Virgil's cool. Virgil's cool, but he's cool in a kind of look at this crazy ass antagonist motherfucker. This is a rival character. You you go on a dating site and you see a guy who's like got a katana and he's like, yeah, I'm really cool. You're gonna be like, really? <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, so like that would be pretty entertaining, I think. <clears throat> there are so many places the anime could go later now that it's like progressed for a long time. Uh, after Devil May Cry 2, putting out an anime, or Devil May Cry 3, putting out an anime then, it's like you, you haven't got all that much to work with, really. I mean, Devil May Cry 3 added a lot, but 4 and 5 also, of course, added but tons of law. Can we do this without pulling out Nightmare and it not be like inefficient? I've got 10 minutes on the clock here. <clears throat> yeah, no, um, shall I read up on other things as jumping off points? Let me, let me just, I forgot to do this, I'm sorry. Let's consult the book of complaints. I explain that. <laughs> I will read this. Demons are fine. Dante is never challenged. He is never challenged. He, there is no challenge. Even the final boss of the whole anime is not a challenge. He gets killed by him. 
he uh, wakes up immediately afterwards when Patty's like, wake up, Dante, trying to tear jerk the audience, but no one believes it. He's like, oh yeah, this, this tiny anime, that's going to be where they canonically kill off the character and say, that's it, no more games. <laughs> He's dead. He died from this pointless villain that's not even his, an- his rival and is not even Mundus level. Yeah, that's what killed him. Fuck you. No. He's not even the savior. <laughs> like, fuck you. No, that's how he dies. What, Arkham? Yeah, no. <clears throat> it wasn't Arkham. It was some guy called Wednesday or something. I don't even remember. The name sounds really stupid. I don't like fighting these guys because they have big health bars and they move around a lot. So, I'm just going to make life easier by just having a heavy hit route. Area control ship. Yeah, let's just let the game play itself now. Just remember. <laughs> Splish. Yeah. We now have nearly 12 minutes of time. <laughs> I think my battery is going to run out faster than that, or I'm just going to get bored. What else did I talk about? Yeah, like, think how the Devil May Cry shop is populated with furniture in Devil May Cry 3. Now think about how it looks like in 5, where it's got a lot of stuff going on. It might not be classy stuff, it might just be pizza boxes and nude pinup girls and like but with this weird Baroque era furniture that's just kind of strewn around the place with like cheese lounges and stuff everywhere. Uh, and like weird kind of billiard room vibes from it. I don't know why I pulled him out for this because he's not doing cheese too slow. That was a waste of uh, Devil Trigger, but never mind. <clears throat> yeah, think about how those things are populated. It is an empty warehouse with a desk in it, pretty much, in the anime. It is like you had, this is your ability to reflect this character's personality. His interior life. Oh, he's broke, so he lives in an empty room. It's like, he's broke in every single game, and he has stuff in his room. Oh, the, the bonus guy left. Yeah, he has stuff all over the place. You can populate it without it being like, you know, like broke people don't live in empty houses necessarily. They still have some shit, even if it's just trash or just like, you know, an old coffee table that has a hole in it or something. You know, they have something broken TV set, stuff they can't sell, you know, an empty fridge, no lighting because like they can't pay the bill, something like that, you can really personify it with stuff. Obviously this person has never seen a broke person's house because they literally just decided, no, he will have nothing in the house, like literally nothing at all. It felt really empty and really horrible to look at. It annoyed me. <laughs> like, a lot of this animated. <clears throat> but I feel like I'm being a piece of shit, to be honest, because I'm just sitting here going, fuck this anime. It's like, the poker scene was really good. They had a poker uh, episode where a demon was pretending to be a poker champion. Oh, I chose the wrong time to pull him out. Teleported. Uh, yeah, it's just like, it's such a shame they didn't spend more budget on that anime. 
they could have done some cool shit and they just did not at all. Uh, but then I think about the timeline, it's like, there was kind of a few like rocky bits of development, I guess, around this period, but I thought like, and there was a huge space, wasn't there? Or was there? I mean, not really. You think, when does, when did Devil May Cry 3 come out? It came out in the PlayStation generation. When did 4 come out? The next generation. So you're sat there like, what the problem? You really need to stick an anime in between that? Oh, I did everything wrong. Oh no. Oh no. No, I did everything wrong, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I just can walk right and then it's, it's, it's fine. I, was, I didn't have any DT to get myself out of that mess if I fucked up. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh, he's hitting me now. He's eating them. Then he's gonna eat me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. No. 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 If I say no to him and he'll stop. Demons, if, if, Demons can't hurt you because hurting you is a crime. If you just tell them to stop, they have to stop. Ow. I'll resurrect Nightmare in a minute. Do we even need to? We just stand around this guy. Yeah, because he ran away again. Oh. Hello, car. I just used that for the iframe, <laughs> really. There we go, let's just... Oh. What happened? There we go, there's the enemy. I'm actually not pressing R1 and it's just got the circle on him all the time. Hey everyone, it took me three attempts and three different character changes, but I killed him. Am I good at the game yet? <clears throat> Back to the complaining. The motorbike designs were nice. That, that's it. That's the only good thing. The designs are nice, it's just they had no depth. The motorbikes have to have depth because they exist in 3D space. However, the clothes feel like they exist on a very narrow kind of like bandwidth of like space. They don't seem to like have any like, you know, like there's a human living in the clothes. Like I said, early seasons of Archer where nobody has a neck and everyone's body seem really largely juxtaposed to their heads and they always look like you're looking at them from an angle that's quite low down and everyone looks a bit like they're like Muppets in suits I don't know why I pulled I pulled Nightmare out good work and he just flopped on the floor and then I killed the last guy anyway <laughs> Tricked. Trixie. Kill these fools. I do not wish to do anything, so I will just stand over here. 
That was a cool dynamic pose that I've never seen before. He points the cane to tell them what to do and pulls the book out at the same time. That's cool. Even now, it's been a few years since this came out, isn't it? Uh, even now, I'm seeing shit and I'm like, that's really fucking cool. I've never seen that happen. Like the guitar solo with Nero and him saying shit, yeah. I've seen the guitar solo before in 4 and in other places and I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh, there's too, too many flying things. One. One of the flying things isn't mine. <clears throat> yeah, like, uh, I think Capcom themselves and the studio that handles Devil May Cry has proven time and again that they're, like, better at directing the characters to do cool, interesting, complex shit than pretty much anybody else can <clears throat> at this point, you know? Like... <clears throat> Because it's their characters, so they know what they want to do with it, and they often have a plan that makes sense. It's like, well, what would Dante do in this situation? Whereas another guy is essentially trying to write fan fiction, where he's like, I interpreted Dante as this. Which is why fan fiction often suffers. Because it's like, they're interpreting these things as something that they're really not. What was it that I read recently? Yeah, like... <clears throat> The big one for me was all of the fanfics of Jotaro being shown as being a really sensitive man, actually, when he gets home. And he was very upset that all of these characters died. And like, oh no, he really cares for Kakyoin. He really cares for Kakyoin. And it's pretty much, if you watch the entire anime, I think they have two words with each other. And he punches him in the face the first time he meets him. And like Kakyoin's like, I owe Jotaro my life, he saved me. And Jotaro's just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, you know, he's like, oh, Kakyoin died, oh, okay. And then everyone's like, oh yeah, no, they loved each other. They were secretly lovers this whole time. And I was like, I, really? <laughs> that's what you read from that? Like, personally, that's not what I read from Jotaro at all. From what you can see on screen. Yeah, you can add loads of hidden depth to it later, but like a majority of it is, yeah, not that. How did that hit? I was going to say if that hits. If that skewer hits. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff in fan fiction and third party stories of characters where they just miss the point of the character entirely and don't understand his character. <clears throat> and the creators understand the character because it's their character and we're all trying to interpret it a certain way and then misreading what the character is about entirely. No, 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 that one. Uh, yeah, like, uh, Another example, actually, was I read a companion book to Archer that was written by another group of people uh, called, uh, it was like an Archer book called Why I'm the Best Spy, or like, you know, the one where he's like, he literally talks about it in the show where he's like, I wrote a book about how I'm a great spy, and they're like, that proves that you're a terrible spy. Yeah, like, I read that book, the companion book, <coughs> and you can tell it's written without even reading the author's name. You could tell it's written by somebody who isn't anything to do with the writing of Archer. Because it completely misunderstands who Archer is and why Archer is. And just replaces it all with, he's just Charlie Sheen. <laughs> like, you know? And it's just like, that's, that's not who... And like, he spends most of his time grotesquely expressing 
how he has sex with strangers and stuff. And you're like, no, this isn't just what archers are. What? And you're just like, nah, that's not how I interpreted. Oh, I didn't need to do that. That's just becoming a reflex. I can easy mode, so just easy mode. <laughs> like, you know. I'm now nearly at 15 minutes there. Uh, what, 14? <coughs> Sorry, I've been. Pollution's been bad today. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I might cut this short because I don't want to do another fucking. Like you, like you might have seen on the screen, I can get to like without even trying. It's hot because everything's overheating in here now. I haven't got the aircon on or anything. Um, you can see that I can just keep going at this casually to like level sixty with you because it's just. You know, I can even do it like kind of looking away. I don't even know why I'm pulling Nightmare out. I'm just pulling Nightmare out because I can pull Nightmare out. He's not even doing anything before I'm killing them, look. <clears throat> so I might cut this short. But yeah, I've basically aired all of the big points. But like the concluding point is. If you really, really, really want to go watch the Devil May Cry anime, go watch it. But, like, don't... Ex it's 20 episodes or 19 episodes of, like... Eh. And it just feels like... It's, it's, like a, it's got a cool opening and it's got a cool ending, uh, outro, kind of. But it's just... It kind of misses the point. And uh, it just... You know... No... No choreography, no weapons, no... Like, the way people had expressed it to me before, it made it sound like the anime ex told, told you everything about the origin of his weapons and his origin, and why he is, and why he is the way he is. And it doesn't. It doesn't at all. They just sit and talk for a bit, and then he goes and talks to like, pointless characters of no consequence who then die at the end of every episode, because they exist to do that. Um, <clears throat> that is why they exist, and that's it. Oh, that's a bad place to taunt. <laughs> but I got it out. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but it probably saved far. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I thought another wave was coming in. Now another wave is coming in. I was trying to be cool and I fucked it up. Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys were on the field. Uh, yeah, so the poker episode, I keep kind of phasing in and out. There was a, uh, there was a, there was a, there was a, there was a, there was a demon pretending to just be a human with a really good poker player skill, but if anybody left, the table, uh, they would die instantly was the whole thing. Like, that was like basically the thing, like if you lost to him, you died. And he was really good at it and uh, he was a really great poker player and they thought, well how did he get people to still play with him after a while? And then they were getting all these really good poker players who were like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. I will face this famous demon who works, we'll find out which one of you is the demon, 
and it was actually pretty interesting. It evoked a lot of personality. It would have, it worked really well, and it was like one of the best written ones of the whole bunch, I think. Because a lot of it otherwise was just like ha ha ha, and felt really weird. Like <clears throat> the fact that all the female characters were also written as if they were on Dante's paycheck and they were stealing from him. And that they were all obsessed with clothes, because ladies, am I right, obsessed with clothing, except all of them wear the same outfit all of the time. <laughs> and Trish can apparate any clothing she wants because she's a fucking demon. Frustrating. Her, like, the clothes that Trish wears are, like, proven to just be, like, electricity, her electricity power just, like, in this game anyway, they're shown to, she just apparates them whenever she needs to, to cover herself. If she wanted to, she could just change them, I guess. It's not like her, her power would just be like, uh, 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 you get weird biker chick clothing and that's it. And you're thinking, come on, lady's been wearing shoulder pads for years. She's been wearing a similar or same-ish outfit with only subtle tweaks as she gets older for years. You're telling me she needs to go and get like designer clothing? Oh, and the whole way that they introduce Trish and really kind of start to introduce Lady, she shows up before this, but like before they really even get into like Lady's weird personality in the anime. Yeah. <laughs> I did the thing, I did it. I'm happy. Yeah, but, you know. that The way they get Trish, the whole episode could have been justified, like, by Dante not being apathetic for five seconds. And instead, they were like, here's Dante being apathetic for, like, 20 minutes. Where he literally sees Trish on a roof and Lady chasing after her, and then Lady says, like, I'm trying to hunt this demon. She's such a, like, da 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 Oh, yeah. Do you know her, Dante? She's using guns that seem awfully familiar. And Dante's like, oh, beats me, I fucking guess. I'm going to go have a Sunday, which is very Dante, I have to admit. Um, so fair enough on keeping the character. But it's like, they're having a huge fight in a church, and Lady doesn't know Trish. Trish doesn't know Lady. Then they get revenge afterwards with Dante by stealing his money. I'm going, ha ha ha. But it's like, it's your fault. You guys were shooting up a church going, oh, you bitch. Yeah, you bitch. And like fighting each other and blowing each other up and calling each other a bitch every five seconds. And then I'm going, oh, is, he, is she sleeping with Dante? Oh, oh, I'm so angry. Is this Dante? Does, does she know Dante? Oh, and I'm thinking like, they don't care about Dante. <laughs> they hang out with Dante because they want to steal his job. <laughs> like, you know, that's what I always read it as, or especially from this anime, because they pretty much say it that way. And you're like, oh. Nearly 17 minutes on the clock. Oh my God, and it's half 10. I wanted to do a pigeon LP and I'm just fucking around on this. Oh well. Oh, I actually pulled another one out. Oh, and another one. Yeah, so, like, that whole episode is a case of, though, if any of you just fucking talked for five seconds, because she's like, this chick's a demon, I have to kill her. And I'm thinking, who's putting a contract out on Trish, first of all? Why? And why isn't Dante just like, yeah, that's Trish? Now, this is literally just a case of just fucking talk. Just talk. It's really frustrating. And then, like... It spends a whole time making out that they're totally rivals and then girl power their best friends because ha ha ha, that's how girls work, am I right? And you're like, uh, okay, if you say so. 
fucking weird. Oh, I'm just getting spammed with lavas. Hot lava. I'm gonna stop after this, I think, because uh, I'm actually baking hot in here, and I want to do other shit, so. <laughs> oh, well, that finished really quick. Let's see if we can get to the Artemis boss. It's gotta be near now, right? Please be near. <laughs> I'm so hot. Oh, no. Oh, it's just you fuckers. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit overkill for that guy, but whatever. Oh, wrong guy. Oh, that's just one more. Yeah, like, a lot of those anime episodes, I was just like, why is this episode? It feels like filler. The whole plot feels like filler. And then the final boss feels like filler handily in showing up on, like, episode 18. And it's just the barkeeper from episode 2. And you're just like, you guys had nothing. They gave you nothing. They just said, yeah, you can do something with Dante. Yeah, you could do something with Trish. Yeah, you can use Lady. And they were like, what about... And they were like, I reckon they said, we can use Virgil, right? And they were like, no. Virgil's dead in the canon. And that was that, you know? Because it's like, they have, like... You think about it, like, Devil May Cry, it has a lot of antagonists, but how many of them really scream anything other than just the demon boss of the week? You know, like, I mean, Arkham and Mundus and that, they're, they're, they have their own personalities, but you're not sitting there thinking about playing it for the rogues gallery. You're just waiting for Virgil to show up a lot of the time. And, like, I think that's probably what the biggest flaw that you could say Devil May Cry has. That and the fact that everyone in the anime, at least, was basically shown as being the most... Uh, the most undetached, uncaring pieces of shit ever. Just didn't want to be there. Didn't care. <clears throat> didn't really want to, like, exist. And the whole Strawberry Sunday thing, and, like, they have a whole episode where he's in a diner, and there's this girl, and, like, he, it's the same girl he always gets the Strawberry Sundays from, and she's like, on a roller skates, and she's like, yeah, I think he's really cool, and this guy who's trying to hit on him is like, I heard he's not that cool, I heard he shoots guys, man, you should stay away from him. And then, like, this guy starts stalking Dante and sees him doing demon shit, like, demon hunting shit, and is like, oh, Dante's bad, man, you should stay away from him. And they make out, like, she's totally got a chance with Dante, and Dante's just looking at him like, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> like, you know? Like, you can still let me buy strawberry sundaes here, then it's fine. I don't really fucking care, you know? There's a lot of angles an anime could go, and it just didn't go anywhere. It was just filler. And then, like, snippets of, like, whatever they could get through, you know? Yeah, my name used to be Tony, and that's it. And he looks sad a bit. And everyone's like, oh, yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, no wonder he's fucking sad. <laughs> like, my entire family got murdered. Some of them by me. Twice. <laughs> like, you know? It's like... Actually, nearly three times if you count um, Virgil when he was in that weird... What was his name when he was the, the knight for on the, uh, the island? I'm really descriptive. Shut up. Yeah, we're going to finish up with this boss, because uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I 
I didn't think this through, okay? I thought, oh, I'll just play like about 30 rounds with Dante. That would be fine after not playing for over two months. So, well, derp a derp, I'm bad at the game now. Oh, I know how to use uh, J Jaguar for this. Uh, we just, whenever she stays still for too long and starts being a plinky plink, we just skewer. Or, or not. Great aim, Nightmare. Thanks for jobbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> awesome. You tried. He tried, everyone. He tried. To be fair, I wasn't piloting him. <laughs> I never pilot Nightmare. It's like the easiest way to make sure he actually does loads of damage, and I never do it. Oh, oh, Thingy Skewer even missed. Can you hit the, hit the big thing? Come on, man. You'll do big damage. Oh, he's too far away. We're, we're doing really well here, guys. I'm trying really hard. Yeah, uh, so I've got not much else to say about the anime other than it's not as important to the lore as everyone will tell you it is. It really doesn't add anything other than Hey guys, and there's like three semi decent watchable episodes that really don't add anything and are just funny in their own right or just strange. Patty is an annoying character. Morrison is a why is this character and why is he so poorly like characterized? And then like they just kind of retcon a lot of stuff with him and Patty later on, and you're just like, oh, okay. I want to shoot the guy. Please. 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 <laughs> there we go. Everything is poorly timed in this boss fight. <laughs> Everything I'm doing is poorly timed. Don't. This is not a leap run. <laughs> We're just we're just scrubbing along. Don't worry. This is this is just this is just a bit of laughs and me critiquing. No, no hoops, no hoops. I thought Artemis was talking to me, then I realized it was Nico. Unpop. Oh. I forgot she has a hyper beam like her. Uh, and she can aim it. I need to get me one of them. Uh, <laughs> unpopular opinion number 487. I don't really like Nico. But I think she's got. She's cool and she has some great comic relief. In them. Yeah, they needed that in this. They needed a character who could be goofy who wasn't just Dante, because Dante doesn't show up enough, really, in the plot to have enough goofy moments. And he's a very specific goofy kind of goof, where it's kind of cringe sometimes. Ha <laughs> ha! She dead, everyone. End of LP. Yeah, I should qualify that, though, before I finish. I think Niku's cool. I just, uh, there's something about her design that I was just a bit like, you change a few things here and there and I think I'd really like the character. It's just something about her design, like, like the hairband, something, like, there's nothing wrong with her. I actually think she's a really great character. It's just, I don't, there's something a bit off and I don't really like, maybe it's her origin doesn't seem to make that much sense, although it does make, actually it makes loads of sense. What the fuck am I on about? Um, 
I don't know. I can never put my finger on it. She just never clicked with me in the same way like, like say, B or any of the new characters really clicked with me for this or like... I don't know, but like she she has some great lines. Her rapport, her foil kind of style rapport with uh, Nero is really great. She's really somebody that you know is kind of like a more normal person, normal air quotes to bounce off. But then they show soldiers, and it's like, well, they're much more of a like regular Joe, and you see normal humans in this world, and you're like, oh, that's that's a thing. You know, so I, I don't know. I can't really like. She has a lot of cool. Actually, she has a lot of cool stuff. I. Just my feelings are just like. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I I couldn't tell you what my problem is with her. I think actually on paper and virtually everything about her is a really great character, but you say to me, "Oh yeah yeah yeah." Uh, who's your favorite side character in Devil May Cry is not going to be Nico, and I don't know why. Even though Nico's a pretty clever character, pretty good character, I don't know what the fuck my problem is with her. Unpopular opinion, even I can't fathom out why I have this opinion. It's just a shit opinion. <laughs> like, so, crucify me, because I deserve it, much less than Dante did. <laughs> Shitty anime. I'm going to stop here, you can tell because I'm not going through the portal. It's hot. I've got to stage 60, 69. Before. Anyway, so it's a bit like... You know, I think I should just show shit I haven't shown with V. And that requires... And Dante and everyone. And that requires me to actually spend an hour getting past the first boss with each character then recording what happens afterwards and I'm too lazy to do that and too unskilled so yeah we'll come around to that when I'm actually like not an idiot this nice effect on the little the little rivers here how oh, nice and let's look at the environment look at all the dead things they really did some nice work with this look, look at the weird eclipse yeah it's really good okay I'm gonna shut up now bye